Hello and welcome to this episode of Make the Data Talk, where we believe that every data has a story to tell. I'm your host, Naresh R. Jasutani, and we are going to hear a new story this week. All right. So what you would need to do, you would need to download the data from this URL, tinyurl.com, make hyphen the data talk. Don't forget the hyphens. Create your own story and visualizations and send your story and dashboard or a content to email address make the data talk at outlook.com or AI for dummy at gmail.com. Any of these two addresses would work just fine. And then winners will be announced on last Saturday of every month. So what are my parameters which we will evaluate the entries? is the story, write visuals for target audiences, interactivity, and creativity. So all these four parameters would be considered while we evaluate your entries. You can put your entry as an individual or a company, it does not matter. All you have to do is download the data, make the data tell you a story, and send that story to the email address below. So this is episode one of customer profile data. I'm just gonna walk you through the data set in a minute, but this is how the data set would look like. Let me show you how you would access this data. Clicking on this URL, tinyurl.com forward slash make the data talk, it'll lead you to this folder. Click on episode number one, and this is your data. You can download this data, and use it for your dashboard creation or visualizations. When you open this file, this is how it looks like. It's a data file which consists of a customer profile for shipments. And there are some business questions which are minimum business questions you would need to answer. Let's look at what are my minimum business questions you would need to answer. Minimum business questions you would need to answer is, what are my top 10 customers based on the usage? In this case, do not have a customer name. You can put customer ID. Top 10 customers by estimated income. Customer churn analysis. There is a field known as churn. That means this customer is there with you or not. The customer did it, did the customer do business with you in the last month or the last pulled file or not? And then Create your own story and visualizations. I'm not asking you to not create a predictive or machine learning model. If you can, you, you should, but this is what I'm expecting at the minimum. So send your story and dashboard to make the data talk at outlook.com or AI for dummy at gmail.com. And this is the subject line you would use. As a best practice, I got this from kegel.com forward slash getting started. This shows you a best practice to do a visualization. Let's look at it. So you have, what would you like to show? If you have two variables per item, main categories, few categories, you can look at different types of charts like relationships, two variable plots, three or more variable plots, and so on and so forth. So this is gonna give you a good understanding of how to put what visualization. It's not mandatory for you to follow this, but it's gonna give you a good direction what to follow when you think about visuals, visualizations. Let's talk about tools. You can use any of the products, any of the tools available in market. There is no limitation on what kind of product tools you can use. You can use Python, you can use R, you can use any other open source, or based on Gartner as of 2020, these are my tools. You have Tableau, Looker, Click, any tool you wanna use, you can use, and you can submit your entries, again, to tinyurl.com forward slash make the data talk, download the data, and then send your visuals, your story, or your content to make the data talk at outlook.com with hyphens 
or AI for dummy at gmail.com. So what are you waiting for? Download the data, make it tell you a story. Send email that story to the email address given in the video description section below. I'm excited and I'm sure you are too. I'll see you the next time, the next episode of Make the Data Talk.